Good evening. This is Rahul Mangan here is a group chief executive officer of Treasury Consulting and also a venture capitalist. Today we are going to shoot a very very simplistic video which apparently looks simple but actually it is not simple you know. So before shooting this video let me give you a very simple example of a natural event which is happening after a periodicity which is the volcano eruption. So I'm not from, from an engineering background so I don't know exactly what is volcano eruption until I we see on a media channel that something is coming out of the volcano which we term this as the lava and this will you know slowly slowly come in the plains and it destroys everything whatever that come in between whether it's your home shopping mall restaurant whatever and since it's an act of God so government will never compensate you out. But most of the people do not know that the scientists are working throughout 24 into 7 to see exactly what's happening inside and they give you the warning as well that something is going to go is going to get happen. Are it are we discussing discovery channel? No, but yes we are. This is a very good topic which which is being taught in every part of your life. You are a kid you being taught that topic you know you are a youngster you are passionate about this topic once you turn out to be 50 55 plus you are worried about this topic so once you are a kid you are learning for the sake of degree once you are a once you are youngster you are learning for the sake of education until you are a trader in a bank like like i was and I am now for EX for, for, for my entity which is strategy consulting and once you retired you worried about income you are exactly right we are here referring to a apparently looks simple concept which is interesting it looks pretty easy that was the most simplistic topic of the globe is the interest rate. but actually it is not it is one of the most cumbersome topic we have now apparently speaking interest rate looks very simple but globally multiple countries of the globe have divided interest rate as per their parlance and I think that should be the most common parlance is IBOR which is interbank offered rate you know when you are a kid when you are in MBA I understand with due respect the faculty members of the most of the MBA institutions are not competent enough and uh, what exactly they do they don't tell you the difference between IBOR interbank offer rate and, and, and another interest rate now we have multiple IBORs across the globe. Example, when I talk about Tokyo, we have JIBO, Japanese Interbank Offer Rate. When I talk about Hong Kong, we have HIBOR, Hong Kong Interbank Offer Rate. When we talk about India, we talk about MIBOR, Mumbai Interbank Offer Rate, Mumbai Interbank Offer Rate. There are many intelligent people. I know those who are watching this video, they tend to feel that MIBOR, there is no difference between MIBOR and MIFOR. If you are a Bollywood person, Bollywood means the Indian Bollywood industry, the difference between MyBor and MyFor is as the difference between Shah Rukh Khan and Shahid Kapoor. The names start with S, but apparently the personalities are different, the way they work is different, their income levels are different, the kind of projects they are getting is different with due respect to both Shah Rukh Khan and Shahid Kapoor. Well, I am a fan of Shah Rukh Khan more, to be honest. This is what exactly interest rate is. You have MIBOR, MIFOR. When we talk about Europe, let's talk Ronia. Sonia. Sonia is not the name of the girl. If any uh, girl named Sonia is watching this video, right? And Yuribor. Yania. How many people know Yania? Rania. And multiple. These all Anias will go these all IBOR will go. We end up being a simple interest rate which is SOFR. So if I speak from an Indian parlance or a global tax parlance, we are having multiple countries of the globe, those who are having GST, goods and service tax. That's goods and service tax in some countries is being messed it up, just like India. And in some countries like Singapore, it's working as smooth as possible like Canada, you have 13%, Singapore is 7%, apparently going to 9% and so on and so forth. So what is goods and service tax? You have one well, you have one tax rate which covers everything. So whatever you buy, you buy Apple iPhone, you buy Airbus, plane, you buy middle, aircraft, tissues, food, sorry, not food, except food and staple items which are which are very much required for the general public. Everything Singapore government taxed at 7%, which is good. Similarly, what's exactly is happening that LIBOR. 
Today, the interbank market is completely dependent upon LIBOR. LIBOR stands for London Interbank Offered Rate. It apparently looks like the dealing is happening in London, but this is not. There are three, there are three steps of LIBOR. And I would like to offer a price of 100 Singapore dollar. I repeat, 100 Singapore dollar, if you come to me and say, what are the three steps of LIBOR? Alternatively speaking, every day, millions and millions of interbank transactions happen. And for your information, LIBOR is unsecured. LIBOR is on an unsecured funding. There are majority transactions which are on a secured funding. These millions and millions of transactions would divide it into LIBOR, but they are not they are not completely of LIBOR, there are three steps to it. The person who will call me or give me WhatsApp message and anything, I will give him 100 Singapore dollar price if he let me know the three steps. And all the MBA students, just see that where exactly your college stand, without quoting the name, if your faculty member himself or herself do not know what are the three steps. Now the question here is not what, what, what are the three steps of not. Question is that LIBOR is a volcano which is going to be erupt out or it has already started. Today which is uh, 31st March 2019 at 2 a.m. Singapore timing. I repeat 31st March 2019 at 2 a.m. Singapore timing. We are talking about that LIBOR is transitioning to SOFR. How many of you are reading one business newspaper in a, in a day? And if you are not reading, that is yours problem because you should know that last Thursday, last Thursday, the SOFR has, uh, last Thursday, the SOFR registered almost 300 basis point hike in volatility. Because the banks have clearly understood. Banks have clearly understood that now we have to move from LIBOR to CIFR, oh sorry, LIBOR to SOFR, Secured Overnight Financing Rate. Now this is being selected by RFR, Reference Rate, Reference Rate Committee, but I do have due interpretation issue as far as the SOFR and LIBOR is concerned. To cut the long discussion short, I would like to give you, I would like to end this video with two questions. My question number one, what are the three conditions banks are using which determines that millions and millions of the interest rate will calculate a simple rate which is LIBOR. For your information, LIBOR is quoted in five currencies which is USD, GBP, SIG, sorry, USD, GBP, Japanese Yen, Euro and Swiss franc. And they quoted in seven denominations. Now total seven into five, total 35 combinations. I remember my golden days of 2007, doesn't mean now not golden days. Golden days of 2007 when LIBOR was quoted in 12 currencies and 7 denominations. It was a wonderful period. But after LIBOR scandal, it has reduced to 5 currencies and 7 denominations. To cut the long discussion short, we are heading towards SOFR transition. But I would like to close this video with one topic, with one question. One question I have already asked. One more I would like to ask that SOFR is also having a serious issue on Reuters and Bloomberg and that issue is that SOFR is quoted till is quoted for one period only. LIBOR is quoted for seven periods. SOFR is quoted for one period. To wind up this discussion, I would like to ask a very simple question but this time no price. Are we ready for LIBOR transition? Or are we seriously entering into the biggest dispute in the financial market? With this, Treasury Consulting would like to thank you very much. You know my mobile number 919-8992-42978. You know my fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global. Stay in touch. Please be note that Treasury Consulting maintains a WhatsApp group. Although we maintain 44 WhatsApp groups for e-books and GST and, and whatnot. But we have a dedicated group on WhatsApp which is only on the invitation note. If you feel that you are an enthusiastic in financial market, you have some credentials in place, you work for financial market very closely, you really wish to learn something different in the financial market, you are welcome to share your details with me on the WhatsApp and we evaluate whether we can add you or not. Remember our group, you have central bank, central bankers, head of central bankers, economists, the traders, people like me, no politics, no spamming. It's all business. Thank you.
enjoy your day